Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today I'm gonna to show you guys an exciting upgrade that we offer here at infotainment.com for the 2019 and up Ram trucks. That includes the 1500 new body and the heavy duty. Today what I'm gonna show you guys is how to upgrade from the basic standard radio, which is the UAA option code, how to upgrade from that to this. This is the UAM option code, 8.4 inch touchscreen. Um, Built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This system is amazing. It's very easy to install. It's 100% plug and play. I'll show you guys how it works. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the cubby liner here. You can just pull that right out. That'll give you access to two screws up on top. They'll either be Phillips head or a T15 Torx screw. Once you remove the screws, this whole instrument panel actually pops right out at this point. So basically, you could either just give it a good tug and it'll pop out, or you can use a dash pry tool and kind of work your way around the perimeter. On the perimeter of this panel here is a bunch of retaining clips. That's the only thing that's holding it in place once you remove those two screws. So if you just pop it out like so, you just come in behind here and disconnect the connectors that are plugged in the back. This radio connector here, press the tab in and slide the lever out. The rest of the connectors will have little um, pins. You just press those in and unplug them. As I mentioned, this is the instrument panel. These little clips are located around the perimeter. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and remove your existing radio and the bezel, climate control bezel, that's on the inside. What we're gonna do is we're going to replace this panel here with our custom infotainment.com panel. It'll fit into the exact same location so I'll show you how that's done now. All right, as I mentioned, we're gonna remove this bezel here and replace it with ours. Now, what's great about our upgrade, these bezels are actually custom made by infotainment.com to just pop right in. I mean, you don't have to saw or, or cut or do anything. Simply just pull this one out and install this one. So I'll show you how it's done. You're gonna flip this over. There's gonna be four screws that hold in this radio. Those are Phillips head in the corner and then there's t15 screws around the perimeter of the inside bezel so we're going to go ahead and remove those now once you remove the four screws this bracket just comes up you'll no longer need this you can go ahead and set it aside you can also remove your UAA radio, your base model radio at this point, and set that aside as well. All right, at this point, we have 10 Torx T15 screws we can remove. They're around the perimeter of this here, so we're gonna go ahead and pull those out. All right, now that those 10 screws are out, we can actually just push this forward and it comes right out. So you'll no longer need this little bezel either. Now you're gonna use our custom infotainment bezel, put it in from the outside and slide it into place. You notice what I did up here? When you bring it in, bring in that first and it fits perfectly. Now what we can do is put the same 10 screws back into place.
We now have our 10 screws installed. And you notice you have a nice factory fit and finish. We're ready to install our 8.4 inch UAM radio. So all we have to do is just put the radio in the location and install the four screws. Now we're ready to install the full assembly back into the dash. This antenna right here, this blue connector, is actually built for the compass feature on your existing UAA radio. Um, basically, for those of you who have a heavy duty RAM, believe it or not, your truck is already pre-wired and ready to go for satellite radio. There is an antenna on your roof that is not only used for GPS or compass, but it's also used for Sirius XM satellite radio. So to, in order to interface this with the UAM radio, which we're installing, all you're gonna do is plug in a small adapter, and this will make sense in a minute. This will plug right into the back of the radio. You'll get either this cable here or this one. This is just a fully universal jumper. This one's more of a color coded, but in either case, this is what you'll get. If you do not have existing satellite radio, you will have a blue connector and you will need this, which we include with our kit. This will allow your compass to work and this will allow your Sirius XM satellite radio to work. In addition to that, those of you who have the 1500 truck, it's not as easy. You will have this blue connector if you do not have Sirius XM radio. You will also have to replace the antenna on the back of your vehicle if you want to add satellite radio. It's very easy to do, plug and play. But for the heavy duty truck, which we're demonstrating now, this is the only cable we'll need. In addition to all that, those of you who have an existing Sirius satellite radio system, whether you're a 1500 or a heavy duty, you'll have a curry colored um, connector here, which plugs right in. You don't need an adapter, anything like that. So I'll explain more how that works now. So what I'm referring to is the radio here has the curry colored connector. That's for the compass and Sirius satellite radio. The blue connector doesn't plug into there. That's the reason why we have the adapter. So we'll plug that in first. It's, it's universally keyed, so it plugs right in. Now what we can do is we can install all the other plugs that we disconnected from the original setup. So make sure this lever is all the way up and then push it into place. We can go ahead and install all the other cables. The red one's gonna be your backup camera. This gray um, connector, USB, will be for your media hub. This white connector here is your AM FM radio. And then you have a couple more. Um, one of these plugs, the black plugs, will plug into your climate. If you have the trailer, electronic trailer brake controller, the other black plug will fit into there. They are keyed, so you won't get them wrong. Then last but not least, this little gray plug um, for this. Last thing we'll do before we pop it all on the dash is move the bezel or the instrument panel a little bit closer so we can plug in our cigarette lighter. Now that we confirm that everything is plugged in, we simply put it back into place and it pops right back in. We can now install the two screws we initially took out from the top. And put our cubby liner back in. All right, now that we have the dash all buttoned up and in its place, let's go ahead and start the truck up and take a look. Right away, you notice the nice big 8.4 inch display. What an awesome upgrade. Changes the whole look and feel of your Ram truck. Um, so right here in the radio soft key down here below, you'll have AM and FM. And then as I mentioned before, Sirius XM. 
8800. So that's an awesome little upgrade there. Again, if you have Sirius XM, no problem. You plug and play. Um, you don't need that little adapter. If you don't have Sirius XM, you'll always need that adapter um, in order to get it in the heavy duty. And if you don't have Sirius XM in your 1500, you'll need that adapter and a replacement antenna on the roof. Um, so just to note that. Within the media section here, basically it gives you the opportunity to listen to uh, a media source, whether it's an iPod or a USB or something. Um, you'll be able to select that through the media soft key as well as Bluetooth streaming audio. Since we did replace the radio, you do wanna repair your phone. So hit yes, start the pairing procedure on your phone and you'll be good to go. The apps button here allows you to take a look at um, different things here. Maybe you wanna drag and drop different things um, to go back and forth. You can press and hold. You can move it down to wherever you want, um, however you wanna rearrange it there within the apps. The compass, you do retain compass on that nice big display. Within the settings menu here, you could come in here, just like your old radio, you can come in here and adjust different options of the vehicle itself all through the settings menu. Uh, something I'll suggest, this does have a little bit more power than that um, the original base radio that you had. So you can come in here, adjust your equalizer. It will sound a lot better. Um, audio here, again, that's kind of uh, just a little shortcut. Um, I do want to mention, I pressed it before, but the backup camera is phenomenal. I mean, look at that display. You know, you get the dynamic grid lines here. It's an HD camera, believe it or not. And that quality is just amazing. You get the field of view is so much bigger than the other radio. So it makes it a lot safer. You can zoom in and out if you're going to tow or hook up to a hitch. Um, so that's a great little feature there as well. All right, one of the most popular features and one reason why so many people buy this, not only because it's such an awesome system, but it has built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So basically, I'll give you a quick demo of the Apple CarPlay. You're going to plug your factory lightning cable into the USB port. You'll follow the prompts on your phone to get it to link up. And then you'll notice the CarPlay icon on your radio. So now you have full Apple CarPlay right here in your truck. Um, you can go to Apple CarPlay's website. It'll tell you which apps are compatible with it. But just quickly, I'll go through them. The ones that I have here on my phone that are now screened or uh, mapped over to the radio. Your phone soft key here will obviously make and receive phone calls. Those of you who have Apple Music subscription, you can get into here, listen to playlists, whatever you have um, on your Apple Music. Apple Maps takes you where you want to go. These maps are updated all the time, so, you know, that's fantastic. Great safety feature here with messages. When people text you, uh, the message will uh, prompt will come up. You press it. The system will read the text message to you and allow you to respond to the message. Meanwhile, you have your hand on the wheel. As you can see, we have a message coming in right now. If you press it, it'll read it to me and allow me to respond. Great safety feature. We also have podcasts, audiobooks, um, all sorts of stuff. Another big one here, Google Maps. Look at that, the satellite view, kind of like the Tesla. If you come into settings, you just do satellite map. Now you have the satellite view. Awesome, awesome thing there. You also get, you see the green lines, you'll get the free uh, Google traffic as well, um, which is fantastic. Um, Pandora, you know, Spotify, another crowd favorite. Listen to the music you want, um, your existing playlists, your library, whatever you need. And uh, it's right here on your screen. Waze, uh, uh, another one that I really like. Um, you'll have to follow the prompts on your phone to get that to work, um, but another great one. So as you can see, very easy to install this, guys, and such an awesome upgrade for your Ram truck. Guys, we do this upgrade and so much more at infotainment.com. The base model radio that was in here initially, maybe you just want to add satellite radio, factory satellite radio to your truck. We offer a replacement UAA uh, base radio with built-in satellites. That's a cheap, great upgrade there. 
I just mentioned and uh, showed you guys how to install the UAM option code system. Very easy, as you can tell. We also carry the UAV option code, which gives you the 8.4 inch touchscreen, HD radio, and built in GPS navigation. What about the UAX, the big 12 inch system? We designed a way to make that work in your 2019 and up Ram truck. Awesome upgrade. Other things that we can do, and we're about to do it in this particular truck here, a full digital cluster. Um, replace your cheap little analog cluster and get it to the digital. Those are found in the Laramie, the Longhorns, the Limited. We'll be able to give it to you guys in the Bighorn and the Tradesman. Awesome upgrade. What about catskin leather seating? We can do that as well. We'll show you how to install it uh, for those of you who want to attempt that yourself. Um, other things such as um, front and rear parking sensors, 100% factory, 100% plug and play. We can also do replacement LED headlights, factory LED headlight upgrades, factory LED uh, tail light and fog light upgrade as well. What about power folding mirrors? Those of you who love to tow, we can add power folding mirrors to your truck, electronic trailer brake controller, we go on and on with all the different cool things we can do for the Ram trucks. So come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.